Hey guys, it's Jason 20W. Sorry I haven't made a video in quite a while. I have had a lot going on. I got a few things to update you guys on. I know it's been about a month since I've made a video. And uh, as you can see, I got a lot of stuff in front of me here. Uh, let's see. Oh boy, where to begin? Ah, well, to begin, as you can tell, I don't have the the newer style Emacs anymore, or my uh, Evader. Stampede is still back there, and obviously you can see that I still have the Revo, and I still have the old school Emacs down there. I got rid of the Emacs because I had gotten a new toy. Um, I went ahead and I got a new vehicle. Uh, I got a 94 Chevy S10. Uh, it's nothing really to look at right now, but I'm slowly working on it. I'd show you guys, I'd show it to you guys, but everybody knows what a four wheel drive S10, 94 four wheel drive S10 looks like, so it's nothing special. And uh, I don't want to hear any negative comments about it, so I'm just not going to show anybody. Until I get it all done the way I want it to. Anyways, uh, on the Revo, the only thing that I got to update you guys on the Revo is I got some uh, different uh, differentials for it, some better ones. Um, I'm going to be getting lipo packs and a charger, uh, probably, hmm, maybe August. It's a maybe, though. It's not a for sure thing. And other than that, it's running the same setup, the HPI Flex Blur, which I had somebody comment me and tell me that, uh, it's a completely different setup, you know, it's nothing like the castle setup. Okay, well, I'm here to tell anybody right now that is wondering that this flux blur speed control here is the exact same thing as the, the, uh, the castle mamba. It's just got different stickers on it, that's the only difference. Uh, it's got the same fan set up, the same shroud, the same setup, the same everything. It's just been rebranded for HPI. Now the motor, the motor is somewhat different because of the built-in cooling fins. Now the reason why the motor is a little different is because of the Savage fluxes and how buried the motors are. So they gave that a motor a different motor can. Other than that, it's the same internals as the castle motor. The exact same internals. So um, if uh, if I had a castle motor laying around, you know, I'd take that motor out and I'd pull them apart and I would prove that they're the same. Uh, so, uh, of course, again, I can't remember who that was, but, yeah, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and, and call Castle and ask them and turn around and call HPI. They'll tell you that it's the exact same setup, it's just changed a little bit. So, anyways, moving on. Uh, as you see, I got a CD player right there. That's going to go in the truck. I got one of the little fender flare deals off because I had to repair it. Uh, you guys are asking for an update, so here's an update. I got some neon lights for free that got to be cleaned up, and a couple of them have to be rewired, but they do work. And I got some lights that's gonna, that are going to go on it in the front. I don't know if I want to put these on, or if I want to put those on right there, and my Revo is falling on me here. Let me move this thing here. Put it back down in its spot here. And then I got a, an MA Audio 
10 inch competition subwoofer uh, that brings me to a question does anybody know out there if uh, that uh, fixmyspeaker.com will fix the sub if anybody can tell me that I would appreciate it and I got a Rockford Fosgate P210 and I built, you know, just a, a half-ass box, you know, wedge-style box to go in the truck. I'm not going to show it because I'm once again, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not going to put up with any negative comments. So I know somebody out there is going to say something about it, negative, and I, don't, I just I don't want to hear it. So I'm not going to show it. And uh, I also got a Lightning Audio 10 that needed repairing, and I repaired it and. I'm also not going to show that because the last time that I showed, it was a long time ago, I showed how to repair a Rockford Fosgate P1 sub, and I got a whole bunch of negative comments on it, so I'm just not going to do it. Um, hmm. Nothing's changed on the stampede over there. Uh, nothing's really changed on the parts wall, except for there's a few less things on there. It's about it, really. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else that I can really update you guys on. So, I guess that's it for now. So, please rate, subscribe, and comment, and, uh, we'll catch you guys later.